What's going on, Shroot Stock Squad? Today is Friday, March 26, 2021, and today's video is going to be for entertainment purposes only, all right? And in this video, I'm going to be talking about CTRM, the current market conditions, and basically just an overview of my strategy overall and some other plays that you guys may want to consider going in, all right? So stick around with the family here, and I think you're going to like what I have for you. If you're new to the channel, this is Shrewd Stocks, where I show you my journey to 1 million openly, transparently, no screen cropping out, no, no BS like that. You will actually see me. Unlike half the YouTubers that are out there on the platform, you're going to see me put my money where my mouth is. And if you actually appreciate this sort of content and transparency, please feel free to like and subscribe and join in on the family here. All right. With all that said, let's get into the video. So, guys, let's take a look at this. All right. Uh, yeah, the market's taking a dump on my portfolio and that's OK. All right. The Trust me, when you have a portfolio that you believe in and you you actually play it correctly with the risk management, like, like I've been saying this entire time. You guys should not be as panicky as before. And you know what? I see it all in all the people in the Discord right now. When they first joined in uh, earlier uh, when this whole correction and all that was happening, they were panicking left and right, selling BNGO. Do I do this with Zometica? Do I do this with SNDL? You guys are going from penny to penny to penny. Now these guys, nobody's panicking right now. And I cannot tell you how proud I am of them in, in uh, Discord. I see that you guys in the YouTube comments as well. Guys, I love this family and I love seeing how every person is no longer as panicky as before. I still get some of the new comments coming in where they're like, oh no, this is like taking up, you know, I've never lost this much money. What do I do? It's okay. Those are new investors and that's fine. We're going to walk you through this and I show you step by step. I'll be with you in this journey. All right. So let me show you what I did so far today. I did end up buying, just real quick, I just want to tell you, I did end up buying another $1,000 in uh, CTXR. Guys, this, in my opinion, <laughs> CTXR, I am, this is a penny stock play and it's high risk, high reward, all right? And any penny stock, I don't care how much due diligence you're about to do on it, you could do the life, you could spend your whole life doing due diligence on a penny stock. It is always going to be high risk. Okay. Now, the thing is, when I say high risk, that's in terms, that's relative to like, let's say a company like Apple. Of the penny stocks, though, you can still get the lowest risk penny stock. But just understand right off the bat, the second you say penny stock, it's high risk. It makes no difference. It is always going to be a high risk. But um, this company, I'm still very bullish on. Nothing has changed in it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> We're still waiting for the phase three results of Minilock. And if you don't know what Minilock is, that's a new technology that this company is coming out with where it's going to be able to prevent and treat bloodborne infections. So um, not just any bloodborne infection, but let's say you have a catheter, you have... Um, dialysis so you know people who go cancer treatment they have to get a port put in you know in their uh, in their body they get a port that's placed which can deliver the chemotherapy the thing is it's yes the chemotherapy is able to you know help it's supposed to help treat the patient's uh, cancer and everything the, re the real thing is though what we don't what a lot of people don't know of is having a port in place in your body okay that is a access point for a lot of germs and bacteria to come in OK, so what ends up happening for some patients, unfortunately, they end up getting something known as like a staph infection. Uh, you must have heard of that if you've ever watched like House, Grey's Anatomy, any of those shows. A staph infection, that's a bloodborne infection and that can cause like that can send you into shock. It can it can really put you out in a, in a matter of, uh, you know, really quick couple moments. So it's it's not uh, this is this is technology, which I really enjoy, like reading this thing, the fact that there's a company out there that's actually working on this, because right now we don't have anything to actually prevent this or treat it. And think of how many people right now have a port, have dialysis, have a catheter, anything. There's millions, millions. And the fact is that this company had a 100% success rate on their phase two trials. That's incredible. That's incredible. The other thing for this the FDA has given them an accelerated program to, to release their results. So most companies need to take, um, you know, longer time to get how many, how long it takes to get the results and how many uh, months they've had research and all that done for. FDA has given Sidious a quick six month review for it. That's huge. They don't give out those accelerated uh, review processes easily. So if, if you've ever, you know, if you're working or if you have any experience with the uh, FDA, they're not the friendliest of people to work with. So, hey, this is nice. So that's what I'm doing with this penny stock. And that's just thing like that. The other one I'm going to talk to you guys about is CTRM. I've been getting a lot of comments. Uh, I've been reading them. So I'm going to talk to you what's going on with CTRM and, and what I have in store. All right. So, look, I've been reading the comments. A lot of you guys have been going in on the dips. You guys are waiting for the pullbacks. And I'm so happy you guys are waiting to not just chase the hype. Okay. 
there this stock has very good potential in my opinion again it's a penny stock though you know how we play them all right they're high risk this this stock has very big resistance around the 101 102 103 range you know so basically whenever you see this thing let's let's expand this thing look at this right here 101 102 then it dips that's the history of this stock you know it had that big run up all the way you know it got all the way to dollar 73 and then it went down and look at this 78 cents it picks itself up and it goes like that. i've been telling you guys several days now this is how you guys want to want to go through it this stock can run up to dollar dollar one dollar two cents things like that then it's going to pull back to 90 cents and if it ever breaks 90 cents the next level down is 80 85 cents and then the level below that is like 77 78 cents okay now i'm going to say that again so everybody understands 101 90 cents 85 and 78 cents keep those numbers in mind all right write this down if you need to okay what ended up happening the other day though this thing hit all the way down to 70 cents okay it will hit the 70 cent mark now this is actually look some of these stocks they don't these are remember support resistance lines these are estimates okay they not every stock has to follow it to the t and this happens sometimes okay you're gonna see that but this you notice this thing it hit the 70 cent mark and it bounced all the way back up to what 80 cents that's 78 remember what i kept saying 78 is its very strong support level right there um and this is a good sign in my opinion because if you look back to that february 3rd time what it ended up doing was it hit that 70 cent mark and then it ran all the way up to dollar 73. so on february 3rd it was sitting at the uh, 70 cents then by february 11th dollar 73 all right so that's 325 percent it's still up in the last three months you know it's uh or 300 percent 304 it's uh tremendous gains you're getting out of this thing and look what we can see here is this if it ever goes below that 70 cent mark i we we want to dip out of this if we see this thing going down to 67 uh, 69 68 67 cents we got to dip all right you know what i preach here right guys i tell you risk to reward okay that's my philosophy. I'm not, I never claim that I'm the smartest investor out there. I'm never claiming I'm the richest investor. What I am going to say though is I have, in my opinion, I think I have a very good understanding of risk to reward and how you guys can play it because I've, I'm only, I'm, what I'm speaking to you, this is not something I've read in a book. This is real life. I've been investing for close to a decade now and I've made every mistake in the book and I've made all the, like to even start this journey. I've made a lot of the right moves too. So I've learned, well, this works there. This doesn't work there. You should do this. I've read, trust me, I've read the books. And I'm sure you guys have read books too. At the end of the day though, until you put your money in the, into the market and you play it in real life, that's where you learn, all right? And that's what I'm here to show you, okay? I'm just here to show you that. And I don't want you guys to be losing money. I've lost it in the past and I've learned from it. So just take the lessons. You don't need to, you don't need to spend your money to learn the lessons. Watch the videos, join the Discord if you want. This is where you can learn the lessons and this is how you can progress, okay? So if you see this thing get, get hitting the 69 68 cents i'm telling you right now my play i'm gonna dip all right i'm gonna get out of this stock because what's gonna happen then it might it's gonna go all the way back now until like the 40 cents mark the 30 cents mark that whole region and then from there it's we can expect it to come back up again but you see that's a huge dip all right we don't want to lose too much of our money there so you see my average cost right now 79 like whatever let's just say 80 cents it's almost okay i bought in at that price if you guys if you guys want to get in on this position and you and you haven't yet consider this thing around the price where it's at right now you know 80 cents i think this is a good price to buy in if you if you haven't already and remember you do not need to be in penny stocks if you don't want trust me <laughs> i'm going to talk about this a little later so that's the play right now i'm going to put in a stop order around that uh 69 68 cents mark and then we're going to go from there now remember the reason why i'm telling you i'm still bullish on this company is this company is buying up shipping rigs like none other they are effectively speaking ever since that whole uh, you know this whole event um i don't know how youtube does its whole uh they don't like it when you spec when you speak about a certain subject so i'm just going to say ever since this big event that happened in the last year uh you know that shut the country down and all that a lot of the shipping a lot of this uh like that entire like industry has kind of had a pullback okay and because of that pullback these uh their competitors of ctrm the the other competitors 
they're they're selling some of their ships they're selling they're selling some of their rigs and all that and they're selling them for dirt cheap you know um <laughs> some of these things you know some of these vessels and tankers that ctrm has been buying they normally cost 80 million dollars 90 100 million dollar tankers you know and they're buying this for like five ten twenty million dollars this is pennies on the dollar this company is the definition of buying the dip <laughs> there's no other way i could describe this so i'm telling you once they put out their earnings to uh you know i think when is this thing they've i know it was going to be early yeah early april is what they're expecting so you know around that time frame whenever they put out their earnings we should be seeing a catalyst with that um and it could send the stock going up remember though earnings don't always necessarily mean the stock is going to go up don't don't assume it like that. I'm just saying, just fundamentally speaking, having no no other catalyst and things like that, this company overall, I still see very good results coming out of this thing. And I think it's going to do pretty well as a, you know, one of our penny stock plays in this portfolio. Okay. Um, trust me, what's going to end up happening is eventually whenever the thing does start recovering, this is, you're going to see this thing running all the way back up to the 90 cent mark. It's going to go all the way back up to like the dollar mark and it's going to do all of those things. Okay. So once it's once we can see this thing starting to retest the dollar one dollar two cents and it breaks that if it's ever able to break that and it will eventually it will whenever it breaks the dollar two cent and all that this is going to shoot all the way up to to dollar 23 then it's going to rocket its way all the way to dollar 73 and that is when we're going to start to take out some of our profits and play it like that okay um remember what i said if this thing goes below 69 cents i'm out and i might buy back in when the 40 30 cents mark and then right now we can see this if you're looking to buy in this is one of the points you could consider other thing you know 90 cents all those numbers i told you in the beginning of this thing write them down and keep it in mind all right that's everything i want to talk about with this stock here i haven't bought in any more positions or done anything like that right now because like i said whenever you build your portfolio you got to think of it like a pie all right you got to think of this thing like a pie foundation layer the foundation layer is what's going to carry your portfolio, guys. You got to build this thing out. Um, <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. That that foundation, it's so crucial because that's the thing that's going to propel your portfolio. If you're new to investing, my suggestion is don't pick the stocks which you've never heard of or you don't know much about. Pick the ones that you, if you're using an iPhone, you have a MacBook, you have AirPods, buy Apple. Like, I don't even know the price of it right now. And all I can tell you is in 10 years, it's going to be higher than what it is right now. Again, not financial advice. None of that, you know, every YouTuber has to say that this is not financial advice, but please understand that you don't need to overcomplicate this. Okay. Don't overthink some of these things. Okay. If you don't know what the hell Palantir is, you don't need to buy Palantir. I, just because I have it in my portfolio does not mean you need to. What I wanted to do with this portfolio is to show you an idea, an idea of how this stuff can look like, how to actually begin investing and that's what i'm that's what i'm doing here so mp you know i'm like very bullish on um skills man this thing dipped you know what honestly these prices holy cow 18 dollars. you know you're about to see me buy i show you live trade right now uh two thousand dollars i'm about to buy some of this this is a steel price i'm telling you skills i'm my price target on this is a hundred dollars i think that's I can definitely see that happening within the next year or two years. This is not something, this is just a sleeping giant in my opinion. They, <laughs> they've just had some like bad press and they haven't been able to, I personally think they have not been able to capitalize as much on some of the games that they're in and that whole like gambling environment, the whole, um, what's it called? Where people want to place bets and do that it's huge. Think of March Madness. I want you to understand how big March Madness is overall. You know what I'm saying? If this company can pick itself up and go that direction, oh my God, it's uh, you can see a lot of big moves there. So let's see what my new dollar, th this is a perfect example of dollar cost average. You saw before it was sitting around 20, $24 something for my for my average. Now I was able to bring it down to $22.94, okay? And this is what I'm trying to tell you. Skills, in my opinion, is a good company to buy, but you don't need to buy it if you haven't done due diligence. Don't just copy anyone's portfolio, all right? Please don't copy just anyone's. Do the research so you don't get burned, all right? Everything else is staying the same. I have no updates on all the other plays. You know, they're all they're all just chilling. Um, look, it's a red day overall. You know what I tell you every time. Get into the plays that you believe in and you know will do well. And then believe in yourself and believe in your portfolio. That's all it takes to do well in the market and that's I, that's if you're especially starting you don't need to overthink it like that all right um 
What I want to end the video with is this, guys. If you're new to investing or you've been investing for a while, please consider joining in on the Discord. I have the link in the Patreon below. We talk about all of these plays. We talk about them from earlier uh, before it's even published on, on YouTube right now. But I understand if you can't pay for the Patreon and you don't want to do it, that's cool too. All I'm saying is I see a lot of people commenting what to do, where to be, where to begin, and all that stuff. <laughs> like... For five ten dollars a month, in my opinion, your money is better off spent in that direction versus trying to find, you know, whatever penny stock to go into next. That's my two cents advice. There, you can take that for what you will. Now, you know what I say here in this whole thing. I'm just trying to teach you guys how to invest and minimize your risk with the maximum reward. I don't want to see any of my family getting burned. And I love the comments you guys have been t- showing me. I love seeing. You know how many people have been like telling me they're not selling out, they're not FOMOing. I remember when that first correction hit back on March 5th, every comment was panic, 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 panic. Now you guys are like, you know what? I love this dip. This is Black Friday. I love it. This family's growing and we're growing strong and we're going we're gonna to make it. We're going to make it. Just ride the wave. Enjoy it, guys. Enjoy this. It's part of the journey, you know? So with all that said, guys, you know, take it easy. Enjoy life, all right? Stay happy. Stay healthy. Let's get wealthy. All right, see you.